Hello and welcome to another update video about TRB. Yeah, only yesterday, um, was it yesterday or a couple of days ago? I think yesterday um, I shared with you a video and provided for, provided to you um, a new support area yeah, for another pullback trade entry point. The price did actually pull back into that area, used it as a jump off point from round about 23 24 dollars to jump quickly like 14 percent 15 percent how much was it off the low one second maybe even more oh yeah 24 percent 24 percent um to today's high and as i highlighted to you in the last video the next target i'd be watching is around it's a bit hard to say where exactly because the next level i'm watching is basically the upper boundary line of the larger trend channel that you can see here on the chart and that is going to be around 40 dollars maybe 35 to 40 dollars depending on when the price hits that area we are obviously now let me zoom out in all-time high territory so there are not really any more structural levels to watch. However, it is this ascending trend line that will be the next key level to watch. Um, we have a pretty clear five wave move to the upside now. And as I highlighted to you in the last video, one more high was still a reasonable expectation. Now it's all about, okay, how long can it still extend? It has a pretty much full wave count now. I think the fifth wave should still obviously extend. Um, I'd be very much happy with the $40 level, but let's just double check here the subwave structures because what we can do if we take the length of waves one through three, then we go to the low of the wave four and we get some target levels to watch. Typically what we're watching is as a first and early target, the 38.2 extension. That is, however, very, very shallow for crypto. Normally, I'd like to see the 61.8 extension in crypto, maybe more. Yeah. And here we talk about $37. That's pretty much in that 35, 35 to, to $40 range. Um, it is, you know, what if we come down now and break below, well, today's low? Well, it would just simply be. Um, a reset of wave four yeah so i would keep support where it is still and where it was yeah around 19 dollars as long as we're holding the 19 dollar level i would like to see it get to around about yeah 35 to 40 dollars and possibly extensions are always possible but now even on the micro level yeah looking at the micro structure i would say that this wave count is pretty full it doesn't need any more extensions it doesn't need another wave but this is a little bit too shallow a little bit too short to be a reliable fifth wave so that ideally still extends a little further and um, at the moment it seems as if the price wants to get to that ascending trend line at least that's the next key level to watch micro support is of course the intraday low that is at around 24 dollars and below that we've got 22 dollars and 15 we've got 20 dollars and 63 and then the 19 dollar level Below that level, it's gonna get difficult. Yeah, Then we break down too much to really consider the current wave count to be still in play. We would then need to reassess the structure, but that is already a significant drop down to $19. Yeah, not much more to add. So very much watching if the micro support at around about $24 can hold. And then um, if we see a reaction to that $35 to $40 range. That's my update about INJ. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.